Let me try that again. Good afternoon to anyone who is watching this. So the saga, if you will, of me trying to find a job continues. As I was recently rejected by 99designs and I wasn't seeking employment with the company uh, exactly, but I was trying to set up an account so that I could work as a creator for them uh, on a freelance basis. And it's something that I wanted to do to just try and make a little bit of cash while I look for a more permanent or at least better paying job, perhaps something on a part-time or um, remote or contract basis. But while I'm trying to, to, to find a job like that, um, I thought maybe I should do some freelance work. And so I set up or reset up my account on Fiverr. Uh, but I thought uh, any and all income wouldn't be such a bad idea. So I thought I would also kind of hedge my bets and also um, really reset up my 99designs account. And it's kind of perplexing to me because this time around, and I had uh, I created I created an account with them as a, as a creator uh, a few years ago, but I just never used it. So I can't remember if I just forgot about it and just did, wasn't using it, or if I deleted it. Um, but I I decided that I would do that again. So I set everything up. And before I continue, in case you don't know, 99designs, it's a platform for creatives like myself and also really everybody else. Uh, creatives like myself who are looking for creative work and everybody else who is looking to have creative work done for them by people like me who are, I guess, more skilled in areas such as logo design, book design, or book cover design, stuff like that. And they have contests, and so, say someone will create a contest, say a, uh, a non-creative, will create a contest, say for a logo that they might need for their business, and they have the briefing on there, all the information one might need, and the people like myself go on there, and we'll find the contest, the ones that are best suited to our skill set, and then we create a design for it, enter it, and if selected, typically make, for a logo, it's usually around $200. Uh, book covers, I think it's more, it just varies from project to project. And it, it's really for all things creative, at least I think. So that's the way that they used to do things. Apparently this time around, you have to be approved, and I'm not sure how that works. Maybe they curate you to the people who are looking for styles or designs that are within your wheelhouse, within your skill set. And that is the part that I don't get, because I went on there, I created the account, I submitted my best work, and they just felt like I wasn't good enough. They, they, that's essentially what they told me in the email. They said, sorry, we don't, we don't think that you're suitable for, for our platform, blah 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 you know whatever whatever they might have said it was it was something along those lines and I can understand if my style is not suitable for certain people if it doesn't make sense because I do do a lot of illustrative work that's sort of my style it is kind of cartoony but I don't think the criteria you shouldn't have to meet a certain criteria that's what I liked about the old way is I could go on there and I could find the things that I'm interested in, and then I submit, and if they don't like it, they don't like it, and then I just move on to the next one. And that's kind of what you're doing, is you're in competition with hundreds, potentially even thousands of people, and that's sort of the difficult part of, of the game, if you will. And that's why you have to keep doing dozens and dozens of contests, because it might take dozens and dozens of contests until you can make a couple hundred bucks. And a couple hundred bucks can be a decent amount of money, especially if you're 
trying to find find other work or do other things. You know, I, I would uh, I would imagine a lot of people on Ninety Nine Designs also have a part time job, or maybe they're kind of like me, where they have a business that makes a good amount, but they still have to supplement. And when you're eliminating people like like me, I guess you're eliminating a lot of the competition. And it makes it easier for the non-creatives, I totally get that, but it makes it so much more difficult for me because I was already having to compete, now I'm not able to compete. Now I'm not even able to have a chance at making what for me would be just a little bit of, I guess, walking around money, as they say. A little a little bit of money so that I could, I could kind of stay afloat and stay alive while I'm looking for a job. I guess the bottom line is that it's it's frustrating, it's um, very confusing, I'm somewhat annoyed, but I guess I just kind of have to keep plugging along, uh, I can't really be too worried about it, um, I just got to keep working. I, you know, really, every time, I mean, this is sort of the silver lining with me and really anything when it comes to finding a job, is because I'm doing it, to supplement, to kind of fill in the gaps that my business, as of right now, doesn't fill. Every time I get rejected by a company where I applied for um, a job to potentially work at them, or work for them, or something like this happens, to me the silver lining is always, I, I see it as like a sign to keep doing what I'm doing, and to just keep plugging away, keep working on my business. Because eventually, at least this is my belief, eventually it's going to take off. I just have to wait and be patient until it does. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to keep plugging away. I am going to keep looking for work because for right now, I'm going to have to at least find a contract or a contract job. And keep doing that until until the day when this... Well, this venture becomes a thing that I can I can do, that I can make a living at. Okay, that's where I'm going to wrap things up for now. Thank you for watching, and I will be here probably next week with another video.